So this is just a, um, a brief picture of what it looked like. You know, what's the nature of the world? And being ecstatically happy as a teenager. You know, that kind of teenage emotion of you know, thinking your heart's going to burst. The unethical, which is to introduce a shock ball into the class. Now, a shock ball is a little toy that gives random electric shocks. <laughs> and it's a lovely game you play with kids, where basically you pass it round and you have to say one, two before you pass. So it's each person trying to presence their future with the confidence that there is a way of combining those futures through what I call spiritual friendships, that you, you knit together a kind of social architecture, that the architecture is no longer made of buildings and stones and, and uh, cathedrals, that the, that the buildings of the sacred work that's to be done, that the mindful work that's to be done, the new society that's to be built is a community, a community that's based on human relationships that are increasingly ones of trust and ultimately of friendship, which is in some ways one of the greatest and most beautiful forms of love that we can offer to one another, uh, to be truly a friend, especially a friend in this contemplative sense of the word friendship. Beliefs separate, values unite. Many people have asked me what is the definition of mindfulness, and I have three simple words, present, moment awareness. I guess the main thing that I've concluded from all this work is that if you want to teach mindfulness to young people, the first thing you need to do is to teach mindfully yourself and behind that of course to be mindful in your own life and to have done the necessary work to do the work. Organisations don't transform, people do. My favourite moment. Who's talking? Then I under one. Hmm. Having thirty people and all breathing together, and being present, light-hearted, resting in the breath as individuals and as a group. That was an amazing moment. Almost every moment has been my favourite moment, actually. <laughs> And it may sound as in like a cliché, but it's actually true. It's been extremely inspiring. Standing on the, um, down by the, the, the lake and looking out, doing this man mindful standing in nature and feeling that I'd come home. It's just been so healing. Um, we were outside and it was a beautiful day and we sat and the sun was shining and it felt so good to be outside in nature and doing this practice with a bunch of other people, so it was wonderful. <laughs>